welcome to part one of my kitchen renovation series. If I haven't said it before, my husband and I are first time homeowners and one of the very first projects that we wanted to tackle was our kitchen. So our kitchen is where we spend most of our time in and we noticed right away when we toured the house that there was a lot of outdated features like the cabinet color, the appliances, the counters, just everything felt really outdated and not at all our own style. So we really wanted to bring that more into our own like personality and create a space that we would feel really comfortable in. And as we started to plan out our like kitchen design and like our dream kitchen, we realized that we were gonna need to save up for it for a little bit and we really wanna get the kitchen done right. So we're gonna save up and hold off on all major renovations. But for now, we have a lot of really easy, affordable DIY renter friendly hacks for you guys to try out at home. And we're actually also going to show you where we started off a few years ago with the house when we toured it. So right off the bat, we made a checklist of everything that we wanted to accomplish in this space. And there was a lot. With there being so many details to keep track of, I created this mood board to help us throughout the whole renovation process so that whenever we had to make a decision on hardware, paint color, tile, and just anything else that would be going into this kitchen, we had something to refer back to and help guide us on those decisions. And this is ultimately what led us to the beautiful paint color that we went with which was this light mushroom color called Shiitake by Sherwin-Williams. And I just love the way that it brightens the whole room up while still adding some warmth to the space. And it also ended up complementing the gold colored cabinet pulls and the knobs that we got from Amazon so perfectly. Then to finish up the first half of our list, we purchased this black marble peel and stick contact paper for our counters. And this added a nice contrast to the kitchen that had been really lacking before. So unfortunately, after a year of daily use, it's definitely showing some signs of wear and tear. So I thought it would be a good chance to show you guys how to work with peel and stick paper and also to give you a couple of tips and tricks. So you want to start off with a clean surface. And if you're repairing your peel and stick like me, you might need to scrub off some of the sticky residue it leaves behind. So we used a magic eraser and that worked pretty well for us. Um, but once you have a clean surface, I would recommend starting at a corner and leaving enough room in every single direction for any possible mistakes or measuring errors that you might make. And then slowly start to peel the back of the peel and stick paper off and use a card to smooth over any air bubbles. And we also had a heat gun for those really tough bubbles that were hard to get with just the card. So one unexpected addition to our kitchen renovation was this cute little coffee and cocoa bar area, which I'm really glad we added because it freed up a lot of counter space and other parts of the kitchen, and it made this corner much more functional and pretty for our family. So if you haven't seen the full video already, I'll link it down below for you guys to watch and if you're interested in seeing how we put it all together. So now let's get back to decorating the rest of the kitchen.
concludes part one of our kitchen renovation series. In the first year of living here, we've been able to accomplish half of the items on our wish list and all for under all for under $400, <laughs> which is so crazy to think about considering the transformation that this kitchen has undergone. And we're still excited to make a lot of other changes to the kitchen, like the floors and the appliances and um, other things that we're gonna be working on. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe down below so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.